Okay, here, I got an idea. Look at this. I'm using gauze as cordage right now. This is 100% going to keep the elements up here. The enemy will never find her. They'll be looking for army guys. Yes, they're going to yeah. be looking for army guys. Okay, tighten that corner up because otherwise it could catch water. Yeah. Oh, you dropped something over there. Bob. That's all right. You'll have that. I, th I feel like this is a good vibe. I, I feel warmer already. I, this is a good vibe. This has got like a we could hang this out here. This is one of those real nice APLS. Yeah, we could. This will keep us warm. I don't even know what that means. I already got my shelter. What are you guys doing? Well, Where's not our... everybody can be as smart as you. Do we have an axe? Medic Mike? We need an axe. An Put axe, yeah. When you're done. An axe is on fire. Maybe some firepower. Do you need any help there? Oh, you're a big guy. All right, right, you grab that part. Oh, okay. The light one. Oh, this is lightweight. Ooh, accuracy by volume. That's right. Uh, don't worry, Mike. This is going to be awesome. You can get some bullets. You know how to use this thing, Bob? Nope. Okay, we'll, we'll figure, figure it, out. it out. I can't be that hard. We can do a live test fire. Right? That's right. What are you doing? It's a work day. It's this Monday. Is, this is the 12th. We're doing this we're, is work. We're, we're 12 to 4. Is it nap time? No, he's see, it, we, uh, you gotta much. you have to keep the medic away from Why the battle space. Why is everything space. not in its place? Yeah, this is my safe. Is, space. is this it your feels like everything's in its place? Is this it? your workspace? Today? This is this my space. safe space. Well, what we're doing is we're field testing mm. our gear for the 12 season survival. We're doing the back half, so part of that is like you know having. I got a good feeling about. It. I got a good feeling about it too. Like having everything where you need it to be. What do you think, Mike? Can I pull the trigger? Let's uh, try it. You're not well, buying we're all going to no. pull the trigger nope. make sure it's nope. working right. We're just trying our best here. You got to pull. Oh, there you go. Oh, got okay. No desk pop. No desk pop. What's up, you crazy cats and kittens? So, today, we're talking about the 12 C's of survival, but we're not just talking all of them. We're talking the second half. And uh, it's not less important, it's not more important, it's just as important. So we got six through 12. So as you know, there's the 12 C's of survival. Uh, we just went through the first six of the 12 C's of survival. Today we're gonna talk about the latter six and why they are so important to increase your survivability inside of austere environments and everyday American preparedness. So starting out at the top, we've got candle. Now, a lot of people think that that's me telling you to carry like a tea cup candle in your pocket. I'm not doing that. Um, but it's more so the idea of, do you have a source of light? This could be a flashlight. It could be a candle. It could be, you know, your solar powered uh, 12,000 volt, whatever, dude. If it works for you and it works uh, to provide some sort of light inside of a setting where maybe your normal lights aren't working properly, that's awesome. That's what we want to go for. So having a candle is very important. Next is going to be Camo. Now, uh, my brain, when I first learned this for Camo, is like, okay, we're talking cell phones and radios. Well, yeah, absolutely. Use cell phones, use radios. But also, can you communicate with your team? And have you communicated with your team uh, what your plans may be? So making a plan is going to be very, very important. It also could be something as simple as a signal mirror. Hey, that's a good way to communicate. Three flashes means this. Five flashes means that. Same thing for a whistle, having a whistle on you uh, to where if it's like, hey, if I blow this, then that's that's what this means. Like, so, you know, having the ability to communicate at a distance, uh, especially outside of any of the radio waves or data or anything like that, it's a lot more secure and it gives you the ability to, you know, talk to people in some sort of code that maybe nobody else understands, right? So, commo is very, very important. The next, and one of my personal favorites, is casualty care, right? So here at Refuge Medical, we take casualty care very, very seriously. We talk about IFACs all the time. IFAC meaning individual first aid kit, so that's a first aid kit for me. Um, but also have the ability for, you know, so maybe buddy aid. Yeah, that's, that's additional tourniquets, additional wound packing gauze, additional chest seals, all of that is very critical in terms of being a good teammate. But also think about prolonged casualty care. How are you able to just keep people healthy out in the field, right? So it's not always going to be bullets or you know car accidents and crazy stuff like that. Sometimes it's as simple as Tylenol, having the ability to reduce a fever, having the ability to treat dehydration out in the field, all these different things that could absolutely happen that happen all the time, having some prolonged casualty care capability um, is very, very important, right? So look at your medical um, 
preps, if you would, and evaluate, do I have an IFAC for myself and an IFAC for my buddy? And then what PCC capability do I have? Prolonged casualty care, right? So next is going to be combat. This is where a lot of preppers get sucked into in the gun world, on YouTube and on Reddit and on all these different websites. Um, this is really simple for us. This is just an ability to defend yourself and the people around you. Um, that could be the old fisticuffs right here. If, you're, if you've been training Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu, that's awesome. Um, but it also could be something like a firearm, both in the sidearm capacity and the long gun capacity. Um, could be a knife, whatever have you. This is just the ability to defend yourself. And I would argue that understanding the knowledge around that is just as important as the, the possession itself, right? Possession doesn't equal proficiency. So that's combat. Uh, next, we have calories. So this isn't, hey, I'm going to have 1,200 buckets in a corner. This is more so, do you have calories on you to sustain you? So something like a protein bar, some beef jerky, peanut butter, hashtag team crunchy, all these things definitely matter um, in terms of calories. L fight light, fight right. If you're building out a bag around the 12 C's of conditioning, think about something that can go a longer distance uh, with less weight, right? That's why I love peanut butter, hashtag team crunchy, because it, it really is effective in both the calories and the protein aspect. Um, then finally, we have condition, right? So this is conditioning. So this is just training and then also PT versus skills, right? So your physical capability versus what you can do with your physical capabilities. You should be training both of these things, especially right now as people are going out and trying to eat your neighborhood cats and dogs. Uh, we should be really training ourselves physically to keep a safe distance away from crazy people, whether that be on foot, whether that be in a vehicle, whatever have you. So think about your own physical capability. Where are you right now? right? And that's okay. Wherever you are is where you are. I can't change that. You can't change that. But then let's make a plan to grow forward, right? So if you can currently only run a quarter mile, that's, you know, not where we want to be. Let's make a plan to get to that half mile, then a full mile. And then what are we, what are we doing to run a 5k, right? And it takes little itty bitty spot, uh, steps like that. How do you eat a giraffe? one bite at a time, right? So make a plan and then work the plan. All of these things together right here give you the latter half of the 12 C's of survival. And it's very important because all of the 12 C's work together. It's a support system for you inside of an austere environment. It doesn't make sense that you have casualty care, but you can't see what you're doing. So you need the candle, right? Um, it doesn't make sense that you're able to, you know, uh, have all this conditioning and this combat capability, but you have no way to communicate with anybody inside your group. That's how you potentially get a blue on blue scenario or hurt your friend, right? And so we as prepared Americans, people that are trying to perpetuate normalcy inside of our lives, we have to be looking at this information and not getting cut down in the, you know, the minutia and the, the, the prepper fantasy of it to where we're buying 75,000 fire starters. What we wanna do is, is we wanna buy good gear and then train with that gear to become extremely proficient with it. Uh, that's some of the reasons that some people are so much more capable is they can do 75 things with one piece of rope versus me being able to do three, right? So training with your gear is very, very important. Uh, let us know what you guys are carrying for these 12 C's right here. Like what is your candle? We really do wanna know, are you carrying a whistle or a signaling mirror? Um, what are you doing for uh, PCC, prolonged casualty care? Do you have you know, an adventure bag that has a bunch of PCC capability in it? Uh, that's what I personally recommend. Um, obviously everybody's got combat capability. We don't need to start a chat. I mean, of course you can throw it in there below, but we don't need to start a huge conversation about what 5.56 gun is the best or what polymer frame pistol is the best. They're all, they, if they work, they work. Great. Um, calories, what are you carrying for food? We really want to know because it might help somebody who's newer on this journey. They might not know what they should be carrying, what's too much versus not enough. And the best way to figure that out, guys, is go out with your gear and train. Train, 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 right? So let us know in the comment section below, are you guys training both in your PT and then also in your skill set? Are you learning new things with your group, with your family? Are you doing this for your family or are you doing it just for yourself? What does that look like? We really want to know. So give us the feedback. We love you so much. We hope you're staying prepared. And remember, carry your 12 C's of survival.